I said this in the last multiverse video I did, right? That I was right about them. Um, I know there's going to be the comments. If done right, multiverses can be cool if done right. Look, man. It's, it's something that incentivizes laziness. It incentivizes non-creativity. And that's just what, it's, what it is. It's a get out of jail free card. It's been utilized like that. It's not even just by way of Marvel and DC. I never even thought it was a cool concept. And why multiverse? I'm not just simply saying another place. I'm saying that where this the the concept of a multiverse is meaning that there is a universe that is similar essentially to the other one with its superficial differences or whatever uh, it is. So it it incentivizes laziness. Always has. Marvel, however, is uh, which I didn't know this. So I'll be completely transparent. This is something that was given to me in terms of content. And I was like, these guys don't learn, huh? So check this out. You have right now. Marvel is just all in on the multiverse. You have Doctor Strange. They did the whole multiversal bullshit. But also, you know, you got these all these different various what ifs that have been brought back. And, you know, good luck trying to pick up a Marvel comic and understanding if what continuity it exists on. But, you know, Miles is doing his own, even in the main universe, he's doing right now his own multiversal bull crap. Uh, where there's an evil Miles whose name is like Miles spelled backwards, very original and uh, very creative there. Um, uh, there's also Miss Marvel, who Kamala Harris Khan, who is doing her own multiversal stuff right now. Uh, remember, she's like Venom now. Um, there's a Venom version of, of, of her. Uh, and... To be fair, this is what they did when they brought this goofy character back as like this whole uh, with with Gwen and, you know, you had the Gwen pool shit. Uh, yeah. Now, Spider Gwen. Or no, they don't call her that anymore. She's ghost spider now. Again, this is ridiculous. And now um, there's a Spider Gwen Gwen verse comic, which I didn't know where this is. All right. I can't think of the various ways of tokenization that they've done with this with uh, with Gwen Stacy. So you have Gwen. So that'd be tokenism cubed, right? Where you get tokenized Spider Man becomes tokenized Thor. Just a lot of wires crossed right now. Um, and and by the way, you need to refresh if you're watching us live. I know it kind of there was a hiccup by way of YouTube. Just refresh and you'll be fine. Thor, Thor Gwen, that's what they call her. I didn't know that this is a thing. Um, this may have been, again happened before, but it just amplifies everything it was that I was saying. Thor Gwen is a thing. And it, it involves a couple of different things, actually, here. We're going to read here. The miniseries Spider-Gwen, Gwenverse. Shows Gwen Stacy as she embarks on a unique, game-changing, multiversal journey. All right, not unique. We've seen it 17 million times. You're doing it right now with other characters. Uh, and there's nothing game-changing about this multiverse. You guys have... Really, really, a uh, mainstream big two comics have really, really gone all in on multiverses and they're boring. And uh, you've already done it a million times. This isn't the first time you're out of ideas. So you can't just say, well, it's unique in game. It's not how it works. <laughs> you can't speak that into existence. Uh, as a part of uh, this ensemble, Spider Gwen, Gwenverse issue three, recreated this iconic off discussed moment as Gwen Rogers. <laughs> Incarnation of Captain America lifted Thor Gwen's hammer. Okay, so let's let's uh and I'll show you the picture here. There's not much else I can say. Okay, so this is what happened. Um <laughs> in this moment, there is a Captain America version of, of Gwen, of Gwen Stacy. Okay, so she's Captain America. 
And when she's Captain America, as you can see here, she looks fucking stupid. When she's Captain America, she picks up the the, the Mjolnir. Okay, so there, that's that's tokenism to the fourth power. Uh, if you're keeping up right now, so you got tokenized Spider Man is also tokenized Captain America, which then becomes tokenized Thor. So we got again wires are crossing, things are getting a little fucking ridiculous. But that's what it is. So in this epic, original, unique, multiversal story, we have a worthy Gwen Stacy as Captain America picking up the tokenized Gwen Stacy Thor's Milner. Guys, this shit is ridiculous. It's 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 just like on a serious note from a creativity standpoint, I, I, I'll end it with this. The reason why this stuff is so goofy is like this. I can understand why someone it's like the Miles Morales effect, right? Where it doesn't really gain any sort of ground in the comic books. Literally, Peter Darker, copy paste, same thing slight power change but even that power change is an original we've seen that be associated with other tokenized spider folk but the only people that really really like these ideas yeah there's going to be those that are like if done right if done right there's gonna always be those but for the most part the people that are only interested in this type of stuff are people that don't read the stuff it takes away and strips away from what makes American comics comics, right? The continuity of it all. I know it's lost, but that was a part of what got everybody in. it. it certainly got me into it for a lot of folks like myself. It's not just the one character. It's the fact that there's a world in a universe that exists where all of these different characters and uh, despite them having their own uniqueness exist in. And we see what that means to the world. And, it, and, and that was a cool thing. Well, the multiversal element, when it got hyperemphasized, completely derailed that. So now it's like, okay, it feels like they're doing this stuff for merchandise and toys, right? It's like, hey, here's blackface Peter Parker. Um, and it's like, yeah, that's not interesting. But there's some idiot who's going to be on the internet who's going to dramatize that, act like it's so important. Now little Johnny can see himself like, dude, Johnny could see himself before. There wasn't anything wrong with Peter Parker being Spider-Man. The only people that are interested in that type of stuff are normies. Normies, like, uh, they have no frame of reference. Uh, the arrogant normies, that is. They have no frame of reference. They're like, oh, I'll accept anything. Oh, black Spider-Man, that's cool. Female version of this character, oh, that's cool. And they aren't really invested in the characters because to them, the characters don't mean anything. They don't see Batman as Bruce Wayne or vice versa. They don't see that as as Bruce Wayne's uh, connection, which is why anybody can be in a fucking bat suit. Um, and, and it wouldn't matter to them. Um, nothing's integral, integral. And then when they make it appear, it's always a different universe and all that other boring stuff anyway. Uh, so the uniqueness is gone. The 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 investment, the, the, which is what made comics comics. The investment uh, into the comic books is like, you, what reason do you have to be invest, invested in it? They've told you that these stories don't matter. They tell you that at these uh, a million different versions of this same thing. And it sucks. It's terrible. It's not good. It, it's just simply not good. So I'll tell you, I'm not certainly going to ever entertain doing something goofy like that, but that's just where we're at. That's just where we're at, unfortunately, and um, I think you're going to have to accept it. I was right about the multiverses. You just listened to a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash YoungRipper59 and Odyssey.com slash at YoungRipper59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.